Okay, let's play this. <laughs> nice. That is super nice start. And uh, Ali is one of my students who have been watching my videos on YouTube and he's able to animate like this, which is amazing, which is super awesome. Uh, he's he's learning fast and he learned from from the videos i uploaded on youtube channel and it is amazing to really see you guys able to animate um, this kind of stuff okay so for this one ali i will i will highly recommend uh, you to shoot a reference first i really love the animation is looking nice i think the body mechanics we can improve it so let's say when the character is coming here most of time when we walk, we lean forward. So I will I will suggest to shoot your reference, really study your body. The overall body should lean forward like this. And when you come here, the body suddenly stops. And it feels like the body want to go forward, but it stops itself. To stop our body we have to use our foot and we have to lean our body so let's say i wanna stop i have to bring my foot here first and then my body should be leaning backwards and then i will go into this idle pose for this idle pose we can find a better pose over here i will try to break this profile pose I will try to rotate the chest maybe this arm will be here other arm will be here the chest will be here and this foot can can be here and this foot will be here and then he looked down i think this is a nice opportunity to add anticipation pose so he will overall he will maybe bring the arms back to have nice antique pose to really prepare, prepare himself it is nice moment where he can like okay i have to grab this some gathering of energy or some emotion where he is preparing himself will be nice to have so overall body will come up he is looking down really measuring this fate is possible to pick up or not and when he comes down uh, most of the time when we stand up, our body is, let's say, it's like that. Our line of action is something like that. And when we bend, when we bend down, our hip goes back and body lean forward. So our over, so we will go overall down. So our hip will be around this area. And the head will be here. And we are grabbing this thing from here. So hip will travel from from screen left to screen right and down the head is traveling like that and when we when he will pick up when he will pick up we unfortunately we cannot pick up like this so this pose is awesome let's say we want to keep this pose we can rotate the head here and when he brings it up the hip should go first hip should you know carry the weight so this pose will be totally different so let's say i want to pick this up i feel like the legs can be around this area and my my hip will be around around here and my upper body will go first my head will be much straighter because this this is heavy thing so my hand will be straighter and my head will be around this area the legs can be a bit bended but the main idea is to bring the core the center of the body because most of actions they the force is generated from the from the hip area from the core of the body it will come further and then he will come up so this pose he will be around here the head will be around here i'm just guessing of course in 3d that will be the pose will be a bit different but the idea will be same so his hand will be here the other hand will be here so we will have nice line of action pulling this thing up and when he come down 
you can really you know bring this leg in such a way that they are balancing the weight so overall we will have nice balanced pose for this weight pickup so if i really you know draw the center of gravity let's say it is here the right side and left side should balance each other otherwise he will he will fall let's say and the overhead the idea is nice like you want to come up so this over here we have to bring the hip down like we discussed before the hip will be here the leg will be much banded the head will be straight and this one will be much more like this and over here you can this pose is nice you can really you know body pose will be same but the weight will and the hand pose can we can fix it so the grabbing of the uh, the this box will be the hand pose will be much better i know the wrist is broken so try your best to make the hand pose in such a way that it really you know supporting the weight and from here your lower lower body will be still here the weight will be here it will we will really sell the disbalance of the body so he is grabbing like that so this this leg will be around here so now we can really see the balance dis, disbalance of the pose back there the pose was much balanced but now because he have to fall back the pose will be much unbalanced so if we draw a line center of gravity we will figure out it is around this area and most of weight is back there so that will trickle the fall and here you can bring the same thing same rule apply the chest can be around there foot will be here and we will find the better pose for the hand and same over here the box and the upper body will be leading the action the foot can delay and same for this one right now the body is just stop here we like there is a wall and body just hit it i hit the wall the body feel like it is hitting the wall here it should go you know body should go up and then down and then maybe up up down and then it should settle here but keep going back okay don't stop so let's say the body will be around this area and he's while he's carrying the weight around this area and then keep keep him down keep him down keep him down here and then if you want to bring him up you cannot shift your hand here because right now the body is not balanced so if you keep him down there and you feel like the box and the weight is balanced now you can change the you can shift the hand here and then you can like, like stand up and you will be around this area the box is on with you on the chest area and you grab like this so you will be bit back here and here you can disbalance a bit so your lower body will stay back and upper body will go first while your legs they will follow and then over here same rule apply so your upper body is going further while your foot they are staying behind and when you are reach around this area
you will start balancing yourself. So this this pose will be much balanced one. So overall, the body will be here because now he's just walking. The hip will be here, the foot will be here, and the box will be really balanced inside. So it will be much balanced pose. And we we will not go that high up. In normal walk, we can go up and down, but when we are carrying this heavy weight, we have to stay down, closer to the ground. We cannot have big steps. The steps will be smaller when we carry something heavy, so it will be much smaller steps while moving further. But yeah, awesome job, man, awesome job. This is a great start, and you can just keep working. Again, start with the reference, shooting reference. Grab something heavy and try to shoot your reference and then really study the lean of the body, the poses of the body, how you balance things, what is the center of gravity. I, I hope it will help. I stop that man.